back, everybody. So Johnny Caraba is a familiar name in the restaurant scene, but did you know he's a member of one of Houston's most prominent culinary families? Well, we love Carrabba's, and Johnny says he would be nowhere without his grandmother, and truly, the Houston restaurant scene would be very different as well. I recently had a chat with Johnny at Grace's Restaurant in Upper Kirby. Grace's Restaurant on Kirby opened February 12, 2014. It's a dedication and truly a thank you to Johnny Caraba's grandmother, Grace Mendola. She was, you know, the one that really taught us a lot, not only a lot about food, she was mm -hmm. the best cook that I've ever met. And I've been really lucky enough to meet a lot of nice chefs right. in my life, but my grandmother, her food was very soulful. Okay. And But the other thing that she taught us was not only about the food and the flavors, but she taught us a lot about a selfless woman who cooked all day long for her family and instrumental for the family making a name for themselves in the restaurant scene right here in Houston. People might not realize this, but without my grandmother, none of us would be in the restaurant business. Tony Mandola, Damian Mandola, Vincent Mandola. Their restaurants, Nino's, Pronto, Vincent's, Tony Mandola's, Damian's on Smith Street. Grace's is somewhat modeled after her Houston bungalow. Her house wasn't this big or grand. Her family, uh, when they came from Sicily, they went through New Orleans and settled in Alexandria, Louisiana. Just a good combination of, you know, uh, uh, just some great food, you know. She was kind of came from that generation where they did their grocery shopping, they cooked all day. The family meal was, was everything to her, you know, and I, I just can't, we can't thank her enough. Like I said, without my grandmother, Grace Mandola, uh, you wouldn't have not ever heard about Caraba's restaurant. Caraba admits initially Grace's missed the mark when it first opened. Because it was very eclectic type menu. I wanted it to be like Union Square in New York, Union Square Cafe or the Ivy in Los Angeles. And we weren't making it. It would, really wasn't doing well at all. And my ego, thank, thank goodness that my wife Randy got me to get back to work and I was working hard, but we had to fix it. And the thing is, since it was named after my grandmother, mm -hmm. What do you think about? You think of good, soulful, southern comfort food. And when we changed it to that kind of food, um, you know, it started ticking. What is your favorite dish? When you come here or when you modeled this restaurant, what did you want us to eat? My grandmother was really great with a with a pork roast. That's one of my good dishes. The gumbo, you know, it's my grandmother's recipe from Louisiana. It's seafood gumbo, okay. shrimp, crab meat and she always believed in putting okra in it. I like okra. I do too. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a hard time eating gumbo without okra, but you know, everybody's an expert at gumbo. I don't know if you know that, Courtney. Everybody <laughs> knows about gumbo. They have an opinion? Mm-hmm. But it's smoky, but light. Yeah. It's uh, so good. This is Randy's fried chicken. You know Randy. I do know Randy. And, um, do we eat this? Do we pick it up, or do you, we use a fork and a knife? What do we do? Well, What's... I'm still trying to get rid of my baby fat, but you can have that. <laughs> <laughs> do you yeah. do you recommend you just I, I, pick I would, it up and oh, I would, yeah? Yeah. Mmm, Johnny, that was so good. You know this dish here. I mean, oh, this is Southern cooking right here, right? It, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like fried chicken? This is Aunt Morgan Ann's chicken. Okay. Like said, this is what I eat a lot. I like the pork roast, but this dish here, you know, is just just simple old half-baked chicken, olive oil, lemon juice. This dish right here, it's two enchila cheese enchiladas with a fajita, rice, and beans. No way. Oh, man. My, yeah, that, I mean, that's what's so fun about this restaurant. Right. Is we can do whatever we want. And it's working. Grace's is a place where families make memories and where Johnny Caraba relives them. When I would, uh, call my grandmother when I'd hang up and I always say hey mama this ain't good for TV but you know thank you for everything and she would go Johnny boy she goes I didn't do anything come on very humble yeah but she taught all of her children and her grandchildren a lot taught us everything about just love of food love of family and she was just so, you know, she was a pistol, but she was just very dear to her family and her friends. And again, and I, t I would tell her before I hung up, without you, Mama, I don't know where I'd be. And so this restaurant is really, you know, it's, it's, it's for her.
We're so honored that Johnny shared his story, his uh, grandmother's story, and all of these Sweet. photos. I think it makes the food taste that much better when you know yeah. the story. I'm glad it. I know the story now as yeah, well. Yeah, it's really neat. So check out Carrabba's or find the nearest location. Just visit their website, carrabba's.com. If you're going to Grace's, make a reservation. Take my word for it. Date night in the bar area, too, is really fun. Good for the All right, family. folks. Thank you for that. Yeah.